is your current news. The hourly open source newscast created with you on current.com. Current news producer super key posts. Columbia rescues Benport and Americans. French Colombian politician Ingrid Benport and three American hostages were rescued from leftist guerrillas by Colombian troops. All of the former hostages were in reasonably good health after being held for years in secret jungle camps. The Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, known as the FARC, has been holding about 40 high-profile hostages, including Benport, who was a former presidential candidate, with the intent of exchanging them for jail rebels. Blue Dot Products comments, I never pray anymore since the prayers are never answered, but I have always kept Ingrid present in my mind and kept my hope for her alive. This is finally a positive piece of news in trying times. Current.com user The Blinding Clips, Emo may be outlawed in Russia. As reported on the NME Music blog, a new Russian law could make being an emo kid illegal. Russian legislators are interested in regulating emo websites and banning emo and goth dress style in schools and government buildings. They say the negative, emo culture encourages depression and glorifies suicide. Malathia and Commons, in a world where Russia may be needing a lot of bodies and uniform in the near future, it makes sense to root out any fad that promotes being a wussy. Current.com user Jenny Shu shares new girly video games based on teen movies. As featured on the Gawker blog, video game makers have a new plan to tackle the age-old problem of enticing the female demographic to pick up a controller and get gaming. Paramount Pictures, in conjunction with Legacy Interactive, is developing video games based on girly movies such as Mean Girls, Clueless and Pretty in Pink. Mass on over comments. Weren't movies like Jawbreaker, and Heathers, about killing the popular people? Or movies like Bring It On, about owning someone? Hmm, I think there is some potential in this if marketed correctly. Other popular headlines on Current.com right now. Jana Poke Adams shows us how bees are helping to track serial killers. 22 shares a new way to kill tumor cells. John Monkey reveals an alien sighting on a U.S. space shuttle. To vote on these stories, comment or submit your own. Go to Current.com. The other way in which... Es gibt auch noch andere Möglichkeiten für die Teilhabe von Zuschauern. Das ist ein bisschen kontrovers, aber wir bringen die Leute dazu, Nachrichten ähm, zu entwickeln durch kollektiven Journalismus. Wie machen wir das? Im Web haben wir eine offene Plattform. Da pullen wir Geschichten, da wollen wir von den Leuten ihre Perspektive erfahren und die Leute äh, selbst äh, setzen da auch ihre äh, äh, Stories rein und zeigen also ihre Geschichte, der, äh, ihre Perspektive der Geschichte. Was kommt da raus? Eine absolute faszinierende Perspektive zu aktuellen Fragen. Das ist ganz robust und sehr viel authentischer, ähm, wenn man die Stimme dieser Generation hört, als ähm, wenn man das hört äh, durch den Filter einer traditionellen Medien. Uh, um, cool. Ein Beispiel dazu. Collective journalism, or CJ, is about you, our viewers, taking part in our investigation into the news. We ask people from all around the world to contribute to CJ by providing us with different perspectives and sources of information so that we can all collectively learn about what's going on in our world. This next spot from a bevy of CJ contributors is a prime example of citizen reporting whereby ordinary citizens take their camera to let you know what's going on in their world. No one ever thinks that one day the river's going to rise up and destroy everything. My name is Jason Pyatt. I go to Virginia Tech. Today was the day of, well, they, they call it the... Uh, the worst school shooting in American history. This next collective journalism pod takes a look at how students and school administrators feel about security on campus. I really would love to think that I'm completely safe walking around here at UNC, but 
I know I'm not. I don't think that the universities do enough to protect us. I just feel like we have just as safe a campus as um, Virginia Tech probably thought they did. This next pod is a collection of perspectives from current journalism contributors across the UK about the body image debate. Anything that encourages us to have the debate um, and to talk about these things is a good thing. I think it's really unhealthy. It's like, you see a lot of girls in newspapers that died from doing it. We asked some of our CJ contributors in a bunch of different countries to see what people overseas are thinking about the U.S. election. If I can vote, I'm definitely going to vote for Barack Obama. I think I'm going to vote for John McCain this year. I think the biggest challenge in 2008 for any candidate is going to be gaining trust from a very skeptical public. So hopefully that shows you ich hoffe, dass Ihnen das gezeigt hat, wie man äh, unter Nutzung der sozialen Medien hier etwas Komplementäres schaffen kann zu den Fernse zu, zum Fernsehen und nicht etwas, was in Konkurrenz steht zum traditionellen Fernsehen. Äh, lassen Sie mich zusammenfassen. Wir glauben, dass Fernsehen nach wie vor unglaublich wirkungsmächtig ist, die öffentliche Meinung formen kann, sehr breit. Aber wir glauben auch, dass ein Top-Down-Ansatz bei Medien nicht mehr so relevant ist bei jüngeren Leuten, insbesondere im Internet gibt es personalisierte Informationen, sehr viel relevanter und da wird es sich angeschaut in einer Unmittelbarkeit, wie das die Leute eben heute wollen. Wir glauben, dass Fernsehen immer mehr zu einem zwei weg wird, wo Leute eben nicht nur unterhalten werden wollen, informiert werden wollen, sondern äh, auch sprechen wollen, partizipieren wollen, ähm, eben wie das im Internet möglich ist heute. Und wir glauben auch, wir glauben an unsere Zuschauer, wenn sie die äh, Macht ihnen übergeben und ihnen eine Teilhabe geben, dass sie dann weise sind, eine Stimme haben und ihnen eine Perspektive vermitteln, die frisch ist, relevant ist. Und es ist wichtig, dass diese Perspektive auch die Möglichkeit bekommt, hier international gesehen zu werden. Was haben wir für die Zukunft geplant? Das sollte dann die Podiumsdiskussion zeigen. Den überlasse ich das. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.